Hello, my name's Amoeba. I'm joined by my friend Andy, not your friend, my friend. I'm and your we, friend Andy. <laughs> we are going to be doing a best of three showcase in Pinball Ruby and Sapphire edition. What that means is we're going to be doing the main three categories um, that are not complete Pokedex because that's like seven hours long. And we're kind of going to do it in a tournament style where you know, first to two wins overall. Uh, but we'll show all three categories, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with Sapphire Field. Are you ready, Andy? I'm absolutely ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, all so right. do we have someone running the timer? Yeah, Sidosh is listening, don't you worry. All right. On go. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. So this is Sapphire Field. This is probably the, the most competitive of all the categories. Um, we're both going to start by trying to grind the slots out to get to a bon go-to bonus bonus as quickly as possible. Um, we'll try and explain the route as we go. But there is actually, the, ironically, the first split of this run is probably the one you've got to pay the most attention to because grinding the slots like this is really difficult. Yeah. Uh, but the, the basic idea for this category is we want to beat Rayquaza and we get to Rayquaza by doing five bonuses in a row. And we have multiple ways of getting to bonuses. You can either, every fifth slot will have a go-to bonus in them. Uh, or you can fill the three Pokeball icons up, which are just below the slots on the screen there. And you fill those up by doing catches and evos. Um, so the way the route's going to work is we're going to mash through slots initially to get a first go-to bonus. And then we're going to combine doing catches, evos, and more slots later so that we get an optimal route. So they're not we're not just mashing through slots the entire time. We're yeah, gonna... we're going to be 15 slots oh. total. I just got a catch and mode on four. That's so dumb. Unlucky. Uh, we really like really tried to go into the slots with Ziggy on so that we don't accidentally end up with that. So my route's kind of messed up now. Um, but it'll it'll work out eventually. I think. Can I make this work? Yeah, I do catch an Evo now, and then I've got a free slot set straight afterwards. Yeah, it's fine. Uh. But yeah, the, the general route is that we want to mash through slots for the first bonus and then do catch an Evo for the second, slots for the third, catch an Evo for the fourth, and slots for the fifth. That's right, I'm just entering my first bonus stage. Nice. So you're going to take a, a pretty chunky lead initially, but then I'm going to I'm going to be offset every time because I'm going to go straight to bonus on the second one. So I don't yeah, know when it, this is going to get caught up. It'll look like you're ahead for a little bit, but then you'll have to yeah. grind slots to get to Rayquaza at the end. Also, I uh, I have slots open now, and I need to get to Evo, so this could be a bit of a disaster. Oh, this is a bit of a terrible start. Um, but yeah, the three categories we're going to be showing off are obviously Sapphire Field to start with. We're going to go to Ruby Field as the second, and then we're going to do um, what is a bit of a meme category in Catch Jirachi as the tiebreaker if it's needed. Yep, it's uh, about five minutes long. Record yeah. is what three fifty now? Uh, yeah, Akko. I went in the slots as well. I, I mean, going to bonus wouldn't be terrible here. Uh, oh no! <laughs> this is about as bad of a start as I could get. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, Akko got the the record a couple of days ago with the three fifty. Uh, uh, Sapphire Field ends up being a slightly shorter, well, not even slightly, ends up being a notably shorter run than Ruby Field because of the zigzagoon on the right hand side which allows us to stop the slots pretty much wherever we want if we're good yeah if we we're can, good <laughs> yeah we can basically select the uh the slot result that we we want and um, whereas on ruby field you don't get that so you really do you are playing the slots if you go to them um so the the actual optimal route for ruby field is to use the slots and hope basically um basically yeah yeah. Uh, we won't be doing that though. We're just gonna play it safe. Actually, it depends on what how, what you're feeling. <laughs> I might I might give the slots one go. I'm not gonna do so. The, like the super optimal route is to try and get three go-to bonuses from the slots, but the odds of getting those are like one in a hundred and eight in a single run. So it's not particularly a great marathon strat. Um, whereas obviously it's this basically the optimal route here because we can just select it with Ziggy. Exactly. But, yeah. 
Andy, you now have a significant lead over me. I have no... <laughs> I'm just behind. I don't have the bonuses anymore. Oh, no. Uh, but, uh, I mean... Doing my first catch. Go ahead. There is a little bit of RNG that could come in towards the end of the run because the first catch that like Andy's doing right now is guaranteed to be evolvable. Uh, but we need yes. a second catch that is also evolvable and it's not guaranteed that it will be. Um, yeah, so you... the lead could easily shift away in your favor if I get an unevolvable. Yeah, potentially. Although I could also get the same. Because I That's have to also get... true, yeah. I actually I actually need two because I've already had my first catch. I'll still need another two that are evolvable. You can kind of counter that if your first Pokemon is a stage three. You can get stuff like Slack Off or Torchic. A starter, yeah. Yeah. But well, there's not many. I missed the task catch. <laughs> oh yeah, also we got Tentacle in this roll, in this run as well. That's quite funny. This was not the one that uh, Blue Magma was hinting about when you mentioned it earlier. No, 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 no. <laughs> that would be funny though. Yeah. Also, if you notice some slight layout differences in the game between mine and Andy's, Andy is on Japanese version. It doesn't change anything about the run itself, just visual no. differences. Even the manips for complete Pokedex are the same, aren't they, as far as we know? I believe so, yeah. I think yeah. you tested one of them, didn't you? So. Uh, thanks for giving me credit, but no, I did not. <laughs> you can take it anyway. Have it. <laughs> Andy doing manips? No way. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even in a pinball game, we can't escape minips. There's legitimately RNG minips for the the complete Pokedex category, which is so funny. Just yeah, because Pichu, Pichu in this game, as well as the Eon Duo, Latios and Latias are one or two percent encounters, depending on your progress in the game. Can I go in the hole, please? Thank you. Shoutouts to Driki who found those, right? Yes. Yeah. Love well, guy. Uh, Riki and I both independently found the Latios minute. And then... Shout out to Amoeba as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to take a little bit of credit there because then Riki made Pichu Manip entirely off of his own back, which is way cooler. I'll take my little bit of credit. All right, I'm on Kyogre 1 now, so I have to hit him 15 times. And he's going to throw out some whirlpools and ice beams that'll try to stop me. But if I'm good at the game, I should be able to get him in just two cycles. We shall see. One of us has got to get a two-cycle Kyogre. It's possible on both Kyogre 1 and 2, but Kyogre 2 is 17 hits instead of 15, so it's a yeah. little harder. But it's still pretty hard for the first one as well. And by cycles, we mean like, so Kyogre's gone and dived down now. Yeah. So you can't actually win the the bonus from that point. You have to wait for him to come back up. Ah, oh, damn, I lost my ball. I mean, I got stuck. I don't get the two cycle then, I don't think. It's hard, to be fair. Like, record has not required two cycle on either of them for very no. long at all. I think I think it's only you and I that have actually two cycled Kyogre two as well ever. As far as we know, yeah. I got a two cycle on Groudon two in practice the other day, which is even more hard. You'll you'll see Groudon when we go to the Ruby table. Yeah. You're an entire bonus ahead of me, I think, because oh I'm boy. about to start Kyogre. It's a fairly close match overall. Well, no, it's not actually. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm sort of huffing copium on that one. This is like a two-minute bonus stage. It's not close at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. I'll get an unevolvable right after this. I'm on Duskull two now, so I have to beat him again. Then fill the Pokeball lights. Then catch Kyogre. Then fill the Pokeball lights again, and then I can beat Rayquaza. By the way, this game is great. <laughs> it's 
game is very fun. Oh, wow. I just got dumpstered in the Kyogre <laughs> bonus. Whirlpool just shot me straight into the hole. I hate that. Yeah. This is a really, like, easy game to pick up if you've played pinball before as well. I mention this every time I do this in a marathon, but if you've ever played this game, you can run this game. Like, there's... It's oh, yeah. just a good, like, five minute job to learn what you need to do. And then that's it. You can just start runs. Uh, this is nothing like real life pinball, though. Because real life pinball is hard. This game is easy. <laughs> yes. In real pinball, you get uh, the game locks you out if you like move the table, tilt the table. But Pokemon pinball, you can just tilt the table as much as you want. Yeah, which no, we use like... a lot. There's no like tilt error or anything. Although it nah. does have a, it has a cooldown. You can't just completely mash tilt. It won't, it won't do it like frame perfectly or anything. You do have a little bit of a cooldown. But right. that's why you can do things like Andy just did there, where you fill up the slots just with the up tilt. Which we use to our benefit. Okay, I got an evolvable, and it's tentacle. All right, <laughs> <laughs> the double tentacle. Let's yeah. go. Did we both start on the same area as well? I guess so. <laughs> that sort of doesn't matter for the, these runs at all, in general. Like nobody really pays attention to the area they start in. Although it can make the odds of getting a, an unevolvable Pokemon more or less likely. Um, but it's kind of not really worth the reset time to reset over a good area because that would just make the run kind of boring. And, Generally, avoiding non evolvables is reasonably likely. Yeah, I wouldn't know what the best area to start in is anyway. I just know you want to avoid Sapphire. Uh, no, Safari Zone on yeah. Ruby Field. That's like the worst one. Is that Girafferig? That's, yeah, it's got Girafferig, Pinsir, Heracross. Oh, Walk that's what back. I had in practice. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. We, we both did. Oh, yeah. We did one practice run and it was just not good. I'm doing much better today. I'm so the, get we can actually explain the Dusclops there, to be fair, but you are supposed to hit him either when he's walking or from behind. Uh, we don't actually have a consistent setup to get a behind hit, so we do generally wait for the walking. Uh, yeah, I do that too. Although, to be fair, even if we did have a consistent setup, he walks so quickly anyway that it's probably not going to be much faster. The only thing I'm worried about right now is having uh, two C dots. Just avoid the button smile. Yeah. Okay, one of them left. I'm good. <laughs> the C dots on the left. If you get three of them, uh, it'll initiate. Oh. A... I got okay? a love disc. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I've now got. So now because I've gotten uh, an unevolvable, I have to catch another two Pokemon because a catch is worth one light and an evolve is worth two. It's so unfortunate. That's, that's quite bad, yeah. The game is sort of screwing me right now. two C dots as well. Thankfully, I can't activate travel in a catch mode. Same with me. I'm in Evo. I'm just still scared of it. <laughs> you have a hell of a lead on me now. Like, you're ahead of me and I've got to do two captures. This is terrible. I'm about to go to Kyogre 2. Yeah. I just have to activate Ziggy. I've got to do two catches, Kyogre 2 and Ray yet. I'm trying to activate him the safe way, but it's fine. I'm doing some raw intended catch and mode strats there. That's how you're actually supposed to get into catch mode. I got an Anorith as well. <laughs> That's the rare encounter in this Good area. Good job. If only this was complete Pokedex, you'd be yeah, happy. This would be a hell of a start. <laughs> right, I'm going to two cycle Kyogre 2 real quick in front of millions of viewers, if you don't Do mind. It. Yeah, I'm, Millions I'm of viewers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the pinball speedrunning marathon, remember? Exactly. Everyone's here for pinball. 
PSR stands for Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby. Yes. It's good to be here, by the way. I'm so glad to be back. Uh, I was here last year. Anyone remembers? Amiibo was buying a house. So congrats on that. Thanks. That's why you weren't able to race me. He wasn't dodging. He wasn't <laughs> dodging the race. Don't worry. I, didn't, I needed a year. I needed a year, to, a year to touch up on my skills. And it's still not enough. Oh. I hate that. I intentionally didn't hold the flipper up there so that I bounced off and then sometimes you just don't. I did not two-cycle, by the way. Unfortunate. I can't actually see your game feed at the moment. I don't know if stream can't see it either. Oh, it's back. Hello. Oh, I see that. Rip world record. <laughs> 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 um, I did get a three-cycle, though, which is perfectly fine. I think your record gets a three-cycle, right? Yeah, I don't think. Uh, I'd say I've only ever two cycled Kyogre two once. So, yeah. Three cycles is, is pretty much required, though. I'm going to two cycle Ray real quick. <laughs> oh, I got the task catch. Nice. Okay. If you time the uh, the ball underneath the Pokemon as it loads in, you can get all three hits instantly. Yeah. You get plenty of opportunities to do that when you do the complete Pokedex run. I've never done one myself. I think I always do it early. It's a uh, complete Pokedex does make learning the timing for it way easier. But do you want to talk about the the Ray bonus while you're there? I do want to talk about the Ray bonus. So the thing about Ray is he he bobs up and down, and you can only hit him when he's when he's on the the table, you know. So to counter that, you can try to delay your shots or bounce them off the corner. He also disappears for a little bit and then does that which causes an earthquake. So I just intentionally drop my ball so I don't have to worry about getting hit by that. And then he spawns these two twisters, which can spawn at the same position where your ball will respawn and you can just get like spawn killed over and over. So this fight isn't necessarily free, uh, especially because I keep missing. I, think I got one hit that entire cycle. <laughs> And it's uh, 17 hits, even though this isn't to catch him, it's just to... I'm so bad. Just to defeat him once. It's it's 17 hits both times. I didn't know that. I thought he was still 15 and 17. Well, in practice, you thought it was 18, so... Uh, I, don't know yeah. what, I don't know what you want to think now. <laughs> well, I, I'm definitely not the one to listen to right now. I'm losing. Yeah. Uh, all I have to do is clutch this out, like, surely. <laughs> yeah, I've still got to get the slots as well, so yeah, you should be fine. Just don't lose to Ray. And... Oh, time is on the last hit, yeah. Oh, I still have another hit, I think. And I got spawn camped, oh no! <laughs> I have yeah, a minute 20 to get, like, one hit, I think. There's a bit of an awful scenario that can happen with Ray. Nice. Seventeen thirty-eight looks like. Only that's four really minutes behind. Time. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, record's not comparable when we're playing in a marathon like this, but that's really solid. I'm gonna look at the stream and watch your. I'm just gonna watch your quickly, fight now. Quickly, one cycle, right? Don't mind me. You can uh, if you're Tass. He's just, you know, it's technically possible. Yeah, he does some silly stuff where he like gets locked behind him when he's in the Thunderbolt animation and then like uses tilts to basically stun lock him. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing where you intentionally drop out because the extreme speed just seems to always want to knock you into a tornado. It's terrible. The spawns are not great. If you're playing oh, this game... Missed. <laughs> oh shit. If you're playing this game casually, when you drop your ball on a bonus, it'll downgrade it by one level so you'll lose a multiplier in the speed run we don't care about that we're just going I'm being robbed oh, I, I saw Ray? that I saw that <laughs> okay I didn't get spawn count if I die to right I just quit you win no you gotta finish the fight <laughs> I mean like if I time out I just got I can't believe how owned I just got from the thing I'm gonna get 
paralyze here as well. These timings are all off as well. These shots are a lot harder than they would normally be. I want to. I want sub twenty, please, please. You got about forty-five seconds. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, these collisions terrible. By the way, while he's oh, doing that, that who likes my uh, my name on the wall right there? That's pretty cool, right? Time. <laughs> all right, I got sub twenty at least. Oh, you're you're done. Oh wow, wow. I, it's been oh, so all right. long since. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Straight to Ruby Field. I don't want to hear any of this. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we said this was a a best of three. So that was the first category. We're going to go to Ruby Field now. Exactly the same idea. We're going to try and beat Rayquaza, um, but we've got to do it on the Ruby Field mechanics. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. Is the timer ready? Yes. Three, two. One go. Uh, so yeah, there's not a lot of extra to talk about in terms of what we're going to be doing here. I accidentally put. Um, other than you're going to see a bit more intentional catching and evolving. I might try yeah. and get a slot. To see if we can have a bit of a gamble. Oh. You kind of need it. <laughs> All right. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. Uh, this dynamic. All of a sudden. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're just having fun. Right. We've actually known each other, Amoeba and I, for maybe three years now. We just voice chatted for the first time a week ago to do a practice run. Okay. It was pretty funny, I think. We keep talking about doing like pinball categories. On, like This has been an idea for a while as well, for the for a marathon run. And we just never got around to it. One thing or another came in the way. Oh, we you want to tell them about Trike as well. Yeah, you want to tell them about the other idea we have? Oh, the complete Pokedex. Yeah. One. Yeah. That could be interesting. That could be one of those things that could be a great idea on paper and then turn out to actually not be that fun. But we'll see. But complete I got Pokedex that. is a whole other category. It's like seven hours long. Yeah, so we're thinking of splitting it up. And splitting the workload and seeing how long it takes. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is the worst shot in Pinball. I was trying to get up this Evo ramp. I managed to get it first try somehow, and I, I recently learned that it's actually not luck-based, but cycle-based, so you can line it up perfectly and still miss. Dreaky told me that. Yeah. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's the same with the uh, the hat shot in this as well. Oh, Jimbo's here. I see Jimbo in the chat. What's up, bro? It's a guy I know from the Mario Kart community. I'm going to take a quick detour there to get the Maka hitter because having this activated is really useful for certain, especially for Evo mode. For certain oh, yeah. Sections. He'll just straight up dynamic punch your ball at high speed and launch it up that ramp, which sometimes the Evo item can be there, but only if you have the Ray flag, I think. Uh, no, it can happen on like the final Evo in this category. Oh, uh, okay. I did a practice run earlier and had one up there. But it is rare, to be fair. So yeah, the Kecleon bonus is the uh, the Ruby Field equivalent of Duskull bonus. Uh -huh. He's going to run around, turn invisible, you have to knock him over once and then hit him again to actually damage him. So we basically just bully a Kecleon for a minute straight. You can actually get a double hit if you're either lucky slash good. Yeah. But... I haven't got one today. I also like the sound he makes when he gets hit. Hey, I got a double. He's like, <laughs> he's like, <"Mah." laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you got, for getting the double. I think you've got a, a bit of a lead on me at the moment again. Oh, but this is the ruby table. I suck at this one. I think a lot of this can come down to the RNG and the Groudon fight. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get the unevolvable, it's fine. <laughs> I'm throwing on purpose, so we have to go to catch Jirachi. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, now we've got to we've got to do a lot more going around the loops and lighting things up. I'm going to take a cheeky slots here, I think. Just to burn that. In fact, I might. Do I want to do both? Yeah, we'll do both. See if I get a free catch. 
So we're going to do the same thing we did in Sapphire Field to farm the slots. And I know that there's going to be a start catch em mode coming up, and I'd like to do catch em mode now anyway, so if I get this, it's a nice little bonus. And I didn't. Yeah, it's one in six, though. What is happening? Did we do something? I don't think so. What was that? Oh, okay. That's just tech laughing in our ears, don't you worry? Yeah, I mean, I laugh at my it's, ears it's, all the time. Wait, what? It's the, uh, it's... Pinball runners are just all psychos, we just hear the voices. Yeah, all two of us. How did I already get a non-evolvable? Oh, no. I'm being ruined. <laughs> I got a Voltorb, but we have to do Tr more catches. Trade? Okay. <laughs> I'm so Give me the, get your link cable, bro. <laughs> yeah, at least I got a nice book. I've made Actually, two out of two Evo shots. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I might go for a hatch here. Um, just because it can be... Actually, no, it won't, because it, I'll probably build it up later. But yeah, hatching... Quite quick on this. Hatching, if you're good, is much quicker on the ruby table. Yeah, it's not an option on the sapphire field at all, because of how long it takes to just go around the yeah. hatch bit. But on ruby, it's, uh, it's quite a quick one. Is that a mudkip or a nose pass? It's a magnemite. I was, wasn't even close on either of those guesses. Do you think you're... Just go for a third catch so that you can save that evolvable. Uh, yes, definitely. Optimal. And catching is just a bit faster anyway. Yeah, so the three Pokeball lights, you have to fill three of them up, but it doesn't carry over. Like, if you have two and then get two from evolving, it doesn't carry over. You just go back to zero. Yeah. So he's just going to save the Magnemite. Okay, here's Groudon, by the way. Decent first boulder spawn. I, I just got the cheese. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you want to explain the cheese while you've got it? Uh, yeah, so my Pokeball got stuck back there and just kept hitting him over and over while the... What do you even call these walls of fire blocking him? Uh, I don't know. Magma pillars? But it's not really a move. I also got another non-evolvable, by the way. Cast form, I've, nice. Yeah, I've only got Magnemite. Yeah, I don't know what the move is, but my ball got stuck back there and just gave me like five free hits without having to touch the controller for a few seconds. I'll take that. He does a wave attack pretty quickly on in the uh, bonus that's supposed to shove you away, but if you manage to position the ball behind him, when he does that, you get locked behind the pillars because the pillars are supposed to protect him. Lava Plume might be the right answer, yeah, although it's not in That didn't gym. exist in Gen 3, yeah. but we'll, we'll call it that anyway because I don't, I don't have a better term for it, yeah. So in practice the other day, I got a double cheese on Groudon 2, which means I had to hit him two more times. And I finished with like 225 on the clock. This one I just had about 215. Okay, I got Makuhita set up. Oh, that's a terrible spawn. Am I hitting? But for a minute I was hitting him while I was trapped in the light, the flame, all the thing. I had to punch my all ball right. there because it would have hit Linnean. I got a really early two cycle. Good job. So that makes up the difference a good bit again. Could be eruption, but eruption's also not in this game, I don't think. It I is. Think that's Gen 4. Oh, maybe it's eruption. But yeah, I'm on a bit of a deficit at the moment, although I, it's a little harder for me to get screwed by non-evolvables with the Magnemite in the back. So Famous last words. Oh yeah. Did I get one? Or is that Slugma? Oh, I got Magnemite too. Okay. Got Magnemite, yeah. Ah. Tried to tilt to get the ball to hit the Chincha immediately after I launched it with Spoink.
but I've got two more slots to burn before I see if my gamble pays off. Good. That could be what you need to take the lead. Then you could start trash talking surely, again. Surely, surely, surely that's not an Unlumus. It is. Oh no! I've run out of evolve. I need to get evolvable again on the next one. This is garbage. What are the odds of this? I don't know. No. By the way, I'm not losing lives here. Latios is saving me. If the blue Latios is illuminated at the bottom, it's it's not a lost life. Now he's gone, so if it happens again, I, I will lose a life. Losing a life generally doesn't matter unless you lose all unless of them. Unless you lose all of them. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's the only really important bit. But it's kind of hard to... Because you, you basically get a free saver after the end of every catch and evo, so it's really difficult to actually... Like lo lose a life in the first place. Never mind three. Uh, yeah. As long as I could just control the ball. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm, I might disprove your theory. <laughs> okay. Are we, uh, by any chance, are we both having issues with the Evo shot? <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm I'm stuck in Evo shot hell at the moment. Okay, there we go. Well, I mean, well that's that must be us about even then, because you're not a bonus ahead of me. I have done one Kecleon and one Groudon. Yeah. We're basically tied again. Uh, so you're saying that I'm, I'm slow? Because yep. I should be far ahead. I caught up, smile. One of the things you can do if you get the... So I'm going to show it now. If you get that experience at the top there and on Ruby Field, instead of actually just going for it, I'm just going to fall out. So I'll collect it on the way around. And that can yeah. be just a bit more consistent than trying to go for the good shot. I'm on Kecleon 2 now. I will be there very shortly. Which I actually don't know how many hits he takes. I've never counted or asked. I feel like it's the same. Because Dustbots doesn't change, yeah. So No, I mean, in general, I don't even know how many it is for the oh. first one. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Chat, count with us. One. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> Thing is, is that a double hit might count for more. Because they kind of did that in the first pinball, where if in, if you're in the bonus and you collect like multiple of the things at once, it goes like it gives you one point for the first one, but two points for the second and three for the third, so it accumulates oh. really quickly. So a double hit might be worth like three rather than two, backwards as that sounds. Pinball one's quite an interesting one. The speed run for that is a bit silly. They have actual glitches. Oh uh, yeah, I've. I had it as a kid, it has the funky cartridge that you can actually put a AAA the battery in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I was I had this one first, so it was a downgrade for me to to go to Game Boy Pinball. The controls on the Game Boy one are a bit rough, I feel like. All the physics, oh, yeah. sorry. Not the controls. I've I cannot find lead. him. Yeah, I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> oh he's he's to the left or the right. Enjoy your lead. I will. You'll need it. I will enjoy it smugly. Amoeba smugly? Amoeba smugly. That's your emo with the Leveny, right? Yes. Or sw swap. Uh, what's the point? No, it's, it's Leveny. Leveny, yeah. Follow Amoeba on Twitch, by the way. <laughs> what? Thanks. Follow Andy. <laughs> nah, he smells bad. Wow. Okay, I got an evolvable Pokemon. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go. Oh, I have Hatch here. I might just go for that. It is faster. If you're good at the game. Yeah. Which I might be. Okay, I am. <laughs> I am stuck it's, in Shinjo it's... Hell. Oh, no. That's what happened to Amiibo on his Ruby PV. He got stuck in the clockwise spinning chin chow, right? Yes. So Ruby record is free. It's like one of the luckiest records ever because it gets the one in 108 triple slots. But then I also get stuck in the chin chows for a straight minute. And I wish that was an exaggeration. It is literally a minute. Yeah. 
my Ruby PB, I just did the strat I'm doing now. I didn't go for slots because I just wanted a time. I only really played Sapphire. I was just like, I want a Ruby run. So I just did one. So it's like four minutes slower than yours. Yeah. Perhaps not... more. Sapphire is definitely the better category. The more skill-based category. Yeah, I agree. Right. Not the final... Well, it might be the final Evo if I get really lucky on the slots, but... That remains to be seen. Oh, I got on the ramp. That's lovely. <laughs> There's the benefit of having Mecha hit up. That was a really quick Evo. 1.49 on uh, the clock. I haven't even started mine yet. And I have two gold pins. That's scary. And I cannot control the ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Might go for the hatch as well. On my last one, presuming that the slots don't work. So yeah, Groudon's the same as before, but with extra hits. Um, it's actually a lot more reasonable to two-cycle Groudon 2 than it is Kyogre 2, because you can always kind of beat this guy. He's never in a state where you can't win the round. Also, I have an Ultra Ball. I'm going to get so many points. I can't make the Evo shot. My trash talk is <laughs> coming back to haunt me. <laughs> The only thing I can hope for is if you uh, can't beat Ray or something. Oh, really? These boulders aren't great either. Yeah, I got caught by the fire. Okay, I'm not hitting him anymore now. Close. You can sometimes get like that. That was the exact time. <laughs> that pillar just kind of deleted itself. I don't entirely understand why that happens. It seems to happen if you hit it repeatedly in quick succession. Like, that one did the same as well. Ow. Oh, okay. I'm alive. I'm really close to a two cycle there. Uh -huh. I think this is going to be one more hit. I lied. Wasn't even close. Hit him like four times and he's still not dead. Oh no. This skiddy does not want to evolve. Oh my god. <laughs> Comfy three cycle. Alright, you're completely winning. It's over. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I hit the slots right now, then yeah, I probably have. But you can yeah. certainly pull it back if the slots aren't favorable. It's not going to over. I can hope that you can throw on Rayquaza. That's about it. Hey, it's happened to me before. I've actually died to that. You should pause before the final hit to disrespect me. <laughs> oh, my slots gamble didn't pay off. I got 10 coins. It wasn't worth it in the end. I'm gonna one cycle Groudon. It's fine. It is possible. It's not possible anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Please be evolvable. Uh, this could still screw me, actually. Uh, that's yeah, a good point. could. I got Sentry, okay. I missed. No dude. Oh, I missed him, no. Oh, dude, imagine if I choke the hat, of all things. Okay. I almost did, I think. Actually, you have more time for that than it might seem like, huh? It's like a minute before it yeah, runs you... away. You do, but it's also a little bit annoying when you sat at the bottom and you have no idea where it is if it's at the top of the screen. I uh, just have to blind shoot, yeah. This isn't so going so to... well. Go ahead. Now I'm just down to my... I need to evolve this and then it's Rayquaza. Uh, so yeah, I think record for this category is around a 17 minute something. Um, but like I said, the the amount of luck in that with get, getting the the three go to bonuses is ridiculous. Not a reasonable marathon strat. How have I not beat him? He must be one hit away. Ooh, that was lucky. It's another fast Evo as long as I go in the hole. Oh dear. This is the worst boulders ever. Look at my screen real quick. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, boulder RNG is terrible. I don't actually know what you're supposed to... Oh, that was a pretty good... Yeah. How is he not dead? I've hit him like 30 times. 
<laughs> Just add me. <laughs> I paid Groudon off. <laughs> I couldn't take the smack talking. Wait, I think your Groudon was Team Rocket's Meowth in disguise. I'm calling shenanigans. Not the runner, but <laughs> the actual word. What's he gonna do? He's got a seven hour run for <laughs> Yo, Shen, arrest this man, he's cheating. In pinball. I've been reported to the PSR pool. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty terrible first cycle on Rayquaza. At least I didn't get spawn count. He's a pretty good tornado. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know how it found that. Uh, it was determined to give me that collision and both tornadoes. I mean, you know you're bad when Amoeba beats you, even though he'd got unevolvables and you didn't. I don't need this. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm I'm saying I'm the one who's bad. You, you beat me in the sapphire you, field, which yeah. was the one that we thought would be the freebie for me. <laughs> I, <laughs> thought, like, I thought all of them would be. I'm down 0-1. Right, time will be on the last hit on Ray. I'll try and call it, but I don't know exactly which one it'll be. It must be close, though. Looks like I've got about five minutes to catch him, otherwise we'll be overestimate. So I, I think we can finish it out, right? Yeah. Or I think I can, I mean. Time. GG. GG. 2033 is okay. That's underestimate. That's the primary thing. So we'll let Andy finish this one out, and then we'll uh, we'll get to the decider. While we're waiting, though, I oh, will. What get you a I'm gonna get a prediction going. Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! As as I have mod <laughs> privileges, and we are one and one. We do have a, a round decider. Let me get into the slot so that we can listen to some sweet music. I can't make the Evo shot again. Could have just asked you, but I'm. What am I doing right now? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> he finished ages ago. He could have finished another run. No. You would, you okay, I finally made run. it. Jesus, not yet. But get your bets in. The I'm gonna bet on myself. <laughs> the catch Jirachi run is a whole five-minute category. It's basically a meme. <laughs> but it's a meme that we both enjoy. Oh yeah. Basically you have to... Can I explain it? Yeah, or do you, yeah. should we just go for it? There's different areas. You can see like the picture where this Puchiana is right now. There's usually a picture like a scenery, which is the area you're in, which corresponds to which Pokemon you can get. When you travel six times, it moves you to what's called the Ruins, which is where you can catch the Regis and uh, Beldum. But there's also a reward in the slots that allows you to catch Jirachi. So that's what we're going to do. You just travel six times and then get one slots and catch Jirachi. It's five minutes. Maybe four if you're really good. So, so we do it on Sapphire Field because obviously Jirachi comes from the slots, so we don't want the random chance of missing it. And we'll take Ziggy and right. uh, go on to Sapphire Field. I'm going to predict that I encounter another Illumis. <laughs> I actually don't know how to say that Pokemon. I've heard different ways. I've heard people say Illumise, Illumis. Yeah. Mm. Prefer Volbeat anyway. I got a Voltorb. Very wrong. Yeah, if you bet as a mod, you can't settle the prediction, so another one will have to. Yeah, How did I, I miss that? It. I can think it when it gets done, because I won't bet. Oh, that was a three cycle. That's okay. My time is hey. up. That was a uh, 23.33. Nice. That's Only two minutes well. slower than my PV. <laughs> In a marathon, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. And we're both under estimate, so that's a good thing. 
Right. That is good. We should have made the estimate at 2338. Okay. Sapphire. So, Actually, I want to bet on myself. One second. <laughs> you go ahead. We've got time. We have both come under estimate for both of them. What have, what are the odds here at the moment? We've got 29 grand on Andy and 44 grand on me. Oh, no. Andy's up to 40. It's close. I, I put 1,000 on myself. <laughs> Is the prediction for the whole set yes? Well, yes Basically. and no, because yeah, the, the whole set comes down to this one match anyway. This is it. It's best of three, and this is the final one. Right, Andy, are you ready? Nope. Just no? kidding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> On... We have a timer ready? Yes. All right. On go. Three, two, one, go. go so we've explained the category. I'm just going to concentrate now. I don't want to lose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got people's money riding on this. So yeah, this this entire category comes down to mashing that C dot button on the left side three times. And there are setups to hit the button twice like that in a row, or even three times in a row. If you know how to do it. Oh, I do. The, th the three times one, I knew how to do it. It's kind of magic to me now, though. I've forgotten. And it's really difficult. I have fallen out. You have a very good lead already. Let me see. Can't quite get it. I'm in true Michelle. Oh, I almost went in catch him mode. Oh, sh <laughs> That would be awful. get the right collision there for any of those. I'm done two. What are you at? Or do you I not want to say? I'm just about to go into two. If I can get in the hole. I can't get in the hole. Okay. I'm done with two now. Yes, yeah, so this setup that Andy's doing is like the triple button setup. It's very difficult, but it's also extremely fast if you hit it. Got it. Nice. I'm being a casual and just going for the two button. Nothing wrong with that. I'm done you with three. I am also done with three. Oh, well, it's pretty even. Close. <laughs> I might have to check the VAR if it comes down to a like, last hit. <laughs> really want to avoid activating the slots right now as well. Yeah. I can't get it around. I'm, I'm losing it. That's four for me. I'm trying to YOLO shoot everything because I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> I just gotta line it up and take the time loss. I'm done with four. Only thing I can hope for is that you like don't get Jirachi in the slots or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think you you you're overestimating how far behind you are. I could mess up another one, yeah. That's my fifth. One more to go. And then we will be able to catch the Jirachi. I think it's one more. It is six, isn't it? Yeah. I love as well that in the English version it says travel, but in the Japanese one it's just move. Move! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more direct, which I guess sometimes the Japanese language does. But I guess yeah. I don't know if you know about that. But I know some Japanese. I know very little Japanese. For example, in the top right it says Z button options. Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright, so I am at the Ruins of Alf now. I just need to get into the slots. 
and time will be on the third hit on Jirachi. Which I'm going to wait for it to roll around, because I don't want to miss it. <laughs> I am a coward. I don't know what the timing is for it, so yeah, I have to do that too. Oh, I have to activate Ziggy, oh boy. Yeah, don't miss that. There's no way. The only thing I can hope for is that you miss. And time. Uh oh. 440? Okay, I'm quite happy with that. That's quite a solid time. It's a good run. GG's. I, I took GGs. Sapphire though. Yeah, I'm yeah. perfectly happy with that. <laughs> I have spent way too long on this game, so I think that was a very good showing. And you weren't at all far behind on the Jirachi. <laughs> Just yeah, I, just, I, just, I just got to him now. Watch this. Yeah, so 10 take seconds. 20 drive. seconds. You gotta take 20 seconds to appear. Move. Just like the Eva, uh, the travel thing. Time. Nice. Only a minute slower. I mean. No, 524, not. yeah, 524. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's a good time. But GG's free, man. free 29,000 points, whatever. <laughs> Ban this one. But yeah, thank you, uh, PSRM, for having us. Thank you, oh, Andy. Yeah. I appreciated the uh, stiff competition and the Yeah, that was talking. good. That was good. Um, thanks for inviting me to be a part of this. Uh, Follow Amoeba, he streams actual Pokemon games. <laughs> I do. Follow Andy, he streams RuneScape sometimes, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no. I, I stream, uh, I'm into Mario Kart time trials recently, specifically Double Dash. Just cracked into the top 200 overall, which is, I mean, it, it sounds less cool than it is, I think. Uh, I'm still proud of it. Yeah. And I, I also play Just Dance sometimes. But let's be honest, no one is as good as Just Dance as Shiryu, am I right? The one time he played it. <laughs> but yeah, with that, we will pass it back over to Tech. I think we've got... Um, it's a Platinum Any% percent race coming up. I know Al Wu's in it. I can't remember the other two. Yeah, good luck to the Platinum runners. Yeah. GG's thank you for again, having us once again. GG's, man. That was a great one. Yeah.